Uh, Russell, thanks for the question. Uh, I don't believe we should raise the debt limit until we address what got us in debt to begin with. Raising the debt limit, the ability to borrow more money by, by the federal government without substantial reduction in spending makes no sense. We're $14 trillion in debt, 40 cents on every dollar we spend in Washington is borrowed money. So the only way I would raise the debt ceiling is if we pass legislation to eventually get us out of debt. That's why I'm with Senator DeMint on the cut, cap, and balance approach. We'll cut federal spending, we'll put caps on the growth of government over the next 10 years, and we'll have a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution that could be ratified by the states. I don't have any faith or confidence in either party to balance the budget without an amendment to the Constitution. If we had a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution, we would have to balance the budget. So this is the great opportunity, this is a great opportunity, in my opinion, Russell, to do something substantial before you raise the debt limit. A balanced budget amendment to the Constitution would be the ultimate solution, and that's what I'm for, to raise the debt limit.